inclination change maneuvers and the effect of launch site. In this presentation, we'll talk about how latitude of launch location and allowable launch azimuth affect orbit inclination. <coughs> and how to compute the delta V required for inclination change. And I will show an example of orbit maneuvers, including a Hohmann transfer and an inclination change from an inclined low Earth orbit to a geostationary orbit. So let's consider now what happens when you have a launch site here. So this is the first order of business. Where are you launching from? And uh, nominally, of course, we're launching from Cape Canaveral, the eastern uh, <coughs> test range, or sometimes the west, western test range in the United States. So let's just think of this as Cape Canaveral for the moment. Uh, <coughs> and uh, when we launch, we have to select a direction that we're launching, uh, that uh, we're going to apply a, a velocity to. And we'll measure that direction by the azimuth. So second thing here is this azimuth angle. This is the angle between directly north to the direction of the <coughs> velocity that the, the rocket adds to the spacecraft. Uh, if we measure from uh, <coughs> directly south uh, up to that direction, we see that would be 180 minus AZ. The next thing we need to consider is the fact that the orbit plane always contains the Earth center of mass for Kepler orbits. And that means if the orbit plane contains the center of the Earth, it automatically inscribes a great circle. So this is a great circle arc. And of course the equator is a great circle. And this line of longitude is a great circle. So once we've specified this uh, <coughs> latitude, which is this angle, so that's the latitude, <coughs> and the azimuth angle, and the fact that this is a right triangle, so that's sort of the fourth point, a right spherical triangle, then because we have specified uh, an angle, this angle here essentially, and a side, and it's a right spherical triangle, the inclination is automatically determined. Okay, so that is found by the equation of a right spherical triangle. So it's formed by side LA, latitude, angle AZ, or 180 minus AZ, azimuth, and uh, we, get, we solve for inclination. And here we see we have sine of 180 minus AZ. We can simplify that a bit uh, by noting that the sine of 180 minus AZ is the sine of AZ. So we get this simpler equation to solve for the inclination. 